there! Today we're making a delicious honey mustard salad dressing. This recipe tastes exceptional on your favorite greens, but it also works beautifully as a marinade for cooking meat or vegetables. Best of all, it's incredibly easy to make with just seven ingredients that I bet each and every one of you have in your cupboard or refrigerator at home right now. Well, hi there, I am Jen Leist, and I am so excited that you were able to join me in the kitchen today. Let's make something homemade that is going to save us money, but also help us be more healthy. We're going to make a honey mustard dressing that really packs a punch of flavor. It has no preservatives or additives like many salad toppers do that you would get from your grocery store shelves. And whether you are making this just for yourself to enjoy, or if you wanna make something that tastes gourmet to impress any company you might be having over um, that tastes like you slave for a really long time, to make it, but you really didn't, I've got your back. So let's begin, shall we? We're starting our recipe with the star ingredient, mustard. I'm using simple table mustard here, but you can use whatever mustard you prefer. Perhaps you like Dijon better, a little bit more spice, and that's totally okay. My recipes are all about using what you have on hand. It doesn't have to be exactly what I am doing. So we're going to start with a quarter cup of prepared mustard, and then three to four tablespoons of honey, depending on how sweet you like it. Next, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. You'll notice a lot of the ingredients are a quarter cup in this recipe. If you don't happen to have apple cider vinegar on hand at home, plain white vinegar is absolutely just fine. Use what you've got. Next, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Again, if you don't have olive oil at home, canola or vegetable oil will work in a pinch as well. I just happen to like the richness of olive oil best. Then for lightness, we're going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice, followed by three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and one quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Now you're simply going to take a whisk and whisk this all together. No need for a fancy blender, hand mixing is just fine. While I'm mixing, I did wanna mention that I do have several other salad dressing video recipes if you wanted to check those out. Everything from a creamy dressing you can use for potato salad or coleslaw, to a sweet vinegar dressing, to a French dressing. So I will link that playlist below if you would like to watch that after this video. Next, use a funnel to put your dressing in a container that you can store in your fridge for later use. I love to use a mason jar. Actually, in fact, if you wanted to skip the whisking step if you're using a mason jar, you can simply put all of the ingredients in a mason jar and give it a real good shake in order to blend the ingredients. If this dressing has been sitting in your refrigerator a while, you'll also want to give it a good shake before you pour it over your salad. Today I'm serving this with a nice romaine salad with dried cranberries and walnuts, but the possibilities are endless here. I do find this dressing tastes so good on a spinach and strawberry salad, but also as a marinade, if you are baking a ham, I mean, who does not like a nice honey mustard ham? This is wonderful for pouring over your ham while you bake it, and it just gives a lot of extra flavor and kick to that roast. Another idea is to toss together peppers, mushrooms, and onions and roast them in the oven with this marinade. It makes a super delicious veggie side dish if you're serving with rice or meat. If this recipe looks good to you and you'd like to give it a try, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know you like it and so that YouTube does too. It was such a pleasure having you all join me today. I'm really looking forward to serving this to my family at our next meal on a nice romaine salad. The recipes for my other salad dressings are right here to the side, so feel free to watch those next and try them out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this dressing once you've tried it. I think you'll find it both easy and delicious. See you in the next video, everyone. For the least, this is Jen.